patriarchy is not just an ideology. It is coming from the, our very biological bondages. Therefore, the, the solution cannot be ideological. The solution has to be spiritual. Are we getting it? So, Vedantic feminism would say, disown your physical self. You are much beyond that girl, much beyond that. As long as you continue to identify with your body, as long as you relish calling yourself a girl or a woman, there can be no freedom for you. And ditto for the man. As long as you say, I am the woman, I am the woman, this is a great problem. Vidan says, the body of the woman is her cage, just as the body of the man is the man's cage. What do you mean by freedom as a woman? Freedom as a woman would mean freedom remaining within your cage. The body is the cage, the body is the cage that the consciousness wants to exceed, that the consciousness wants to get rid of. If you want to retain the cage and still talk of freedom, it's not going to happen. So you have to disidentify from your biological self. And the moment you disidentify from your biological self, you have also gone beyond your biological mandate. And you very well know what is your biological mandate. In Prakriti, the man's job is to be the hunter, the gatherer, the provider. Hmm? You look at the jungle and you will find this happening all the time. In Prakriti, the woman's life is centered around the nest, the eggs, the kids. If you do not exceed your biological self, you will be ill-fated to remain exactly as the female species in the jungle remain. Unfortunately, because we deal so much in ideologies and uh, too little in wisdom, therefore, the women's liberation movement is talking a lot in terms of rights, a lot in terms of opportunities, without bothering to inquire whose rights and opportunities for what? Hmm? Rights to whom? Are you trying to give rights to the biological woman? What will she use those rights for? She will use those rights for the same purposes that the biological man has been using his rights for. The biological mandate is to eat, sleep and be happy and procreate a lot before you die. If you give rights without wisdom, that's what rights are going to be used for. Though in a more polished way, though in a more sophisticated way. But at the core would remain just the biological urge. Give me more rights, I'll do more of what I have been doing all throughout the course of history. Right? This is complicated, is it? It's actually quite simple if you look at it directly. If you look at it directly, it's very, very simple to understand. Right? Do not try to fit this within the existing narratives. Otherwise, you'll be uh, confused. Mm.